Born in 1956, May Jemison was interested in science from an early age. May earned her chemical engineering degree from Stanford University and later a doctoral degree in medicine from Cornell. She practiced medicine and also joined the Peace Corps. Making a career change, May decided to pursue her dream by becoming the first African-American female accepted in NASA's astronaut training program in 1987. She then broke the ultimate barrier, becoming the first African-American female in space in 1992 at the Kennedy Space Center. Born on October 17, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama, May would stare up at the stars, imagining herself going up there. She would spend a considerable amount of time in the library reading books about science, especially ones about astronomy. May was the youngest child of Charles and Dorothy Jemison, and her siblings were named Ricky and Ada Sue Jemison. Her parents were very supportive of her talents and abilities. They also put such an emphasis on the pursuit of quality education that they uprooted their entire family and relocated to Chicago in this pursuit. Her father, Charlie Jemison, was a roofer, and May says he was a playful but stern father. Her mother, Dorothy Green Jemison, would take care of her kids in their early years. When they were all in school, she found jobs cleaning houses in Alabama. In Chicago, though, Dorothy had more opportunities, so she finished college earning her master's degree at Chicago State University. The job opportunities were also better, so she became a teacher and took on writing, writing a book called Gabin's Cove. After moving to Chicago, the Jemisons had all received better education and job opportunities. In Chicago, May attended Morgan Park High School, graduating in 1973 as a constant honor student. She then attended Stanford University off of a National Achievement Scholarship. There, she participated in extracurricular activities, including dance and theater. She also became the head of the Black Student Union. May then graduated from Stanford in 1977, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering and also a Bachelor of Arts degree in African American Studies. Later, she entered Will Cornell University Medical College. She wanted to expand her boundaries, and so she studied Cuba and Kenya. She also worked at a Cambodian refugee camp in Thailand. During her time at the college, she interned at the Los Angeles County University Medical Center. May then graduated from CUMC in 1981, earning her doctorate in medicine. After college, May later worked as a general practitioner. Then, for two and a half years, May was in the Peace Corps, serving as the Area Peace Corps Medical Officer for Sierra Leone and Liberia. There, she taught and did medical research. On her journeys, she also picked up languages like Japanese, Russian, and Swahili. Then, after returning to the United States, May decided she was going to pursue her childhood dream. She was going to become an astronaut. May then applied for NASA in the October of 1985, but the unfortunate event of the Challenger disaster in the January of 1986 delayed the selection process. Because of this, May applied again the next year. She was one out of 2,000 people who applied for this training program. After all this, she became one out of the 15 candidates accepted into NASA's astronaut training program in 1987, also becoming the first African-American female accepted into NASA's astronaut training program. May trained at the training program for a year before entering space. Her position on the team was a science mission specialist. This role makes her responsible for conducting crew-laid scientific experiments on the space shuttle. Then, on September 12, 1992, May and her six other teammates set off for space on the Space Shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-47. The team spent about eight days or 190 hours in space, orbiting the Earth 126 times before returning back to Earth. 
During her time in space, May conducted 43 experiments about weightlessness, motion sickness, and other scientific topics on the crew and herself. After these eight days, the Endeavor landed at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on September 20th. After a little bit more time at NASA, after her mission to space, May left NASA in March of 1993. May's marvelous act had a great impact on how people thought towards others. People now know that anyone can accomplish anything they put their minds to. And this was all because May Jefferson didn't stop to listen to other people's thoughts. She wanted to go to space, and so she did. At the annual Biomedical Research Conference for Minority Students in November 2009, May said, Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. May showed this through her life journey. This is why she is such an inspiration. She is not afraid to speak up for what she thinks. If she thinks it's possible, she will try her hardest to accomplish it. This attitude of hers started when she was very young. In kindergarten, May told her teacher she wanted to become a scientist. Her teacher didn't agree with that, and so she said, Don't you mean a nurse? May said, No, a scientist. This shows May's determination was very strong at a very young age, adding on to why May accomplished so much. Without May's amazing accomplishments, many people wouldn't be as determined as they are. This is because May stood up for what's right. She knew that if she tried, she can prove everyone wrong. She can go to space. This is also bringing up the fact that May was born in a challenging era for African Americans, the Civil Rights Era. This was just one barrier for May at the time though. The other was that she was female. This was also a challenging barrier because even if you were a female that was not African American, you still did not have the equal rights as males. This means that May had two barriers she had to work past to accomplish her dreams, but this did not stop her. One thing that helped May go to space was her parents. Her dad used to always say, as an African American female, you have to work twice as hard as a white man. This helped May persevere in her dreams, and now she has accomplished these dreams all because she worked for it. Since May broke these barriers, many African Americans had a better mindset for their goals. For example, African American females like Stephanie Wilson and Joanne Higginbotham were more confident about going to space. This was because May had already had the courage to do it in the past. In conclusion, May Jemison's marvelous act of courage brought many people to be more confident about achieving their goals. And that there was the amazing May Jemison.